Gungala Toy Fans, I'm D21Beast and welcome back to my figure review series here on my YouTube channel. And today we are once again taking a look at those Heroes in a Half Shell. Yes, we have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle review for you today. Only this time, instead of focusing on the modern Nickelodeon incarnation of the show, we're going to go back in time a little bit to 2003 when Fox had the license for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on Saturday mornings. And this is from the 2003 toy line based off that TV series. We have here Casey Jones. Vigilante Extraordinaire. Now I haven't yet picked up the newest Casey Jones figure, I'm still looking for him, but I really really enjoy this figure from 2003. I think this is a great Casey Jones representation. He's got a lot of accessories and some pretty okay sculpting, we'll get to that in a moment, but it's just a figure that I really like from that line and I figured why not go ahead and review it. So let's go ahead and get started by taking a look at the sculpting and paintwork. Alright, here we have Casey up close and we can see that he's got a pretty decent face sculpt for this figure. Now, this Casey Jones overall really does evoke the look of his animated series counterpart, but I do feel like the face is where the figure falls short a little bit. If we take a look at how Casey Jones actually looked on that show, you can see the, the differences between here. And this Casey on the left just has a bit more rugged features, I guess you could say, than the way he looked on the animated series. But once you get past the face sculpt, uh, things aren't really that bad. Uh, we'll notice here that he does have a black hair piece that's actually not separate from his head. So this is all flesh sculpted uh, head piece here that's been painted black on the hair, painted black on the eyebrows. He's got black and blue there on the eyes. My only problem with the way they chose to do the hair instead of making it a separate glued on piece is that he does have a little bit of wear here at the top as you can see where his flesh tone has started coming through on the hair. So I'm not a big fan of that, but what can you do? And as we come down the figure here, we do see that he has a brown tank top or maroonish colored tank top. He's got some paint work on some tape here on his forearm. He's got some painted gloves that actually have some detail painted on them with the orange. As we come down, we can see that his track pants are primarily blue, but they do have some paint work on the stripes here on the side. We have gray and white paint coming down. And then as we come down to the feet, he's got multicolored shoes and even zippers here on his pants. So a lot of attention to detail played with the paint work on this figure. So I was really happy with what they did with this figure. Even for 2003, he probably has more paint applications than a lot of the turtles did in the same way. So I do appreciate that quite a bit. Sculpting is pretty basic for the most part. We do have some musculature, we do have some wrinkles in the clothes. Nothing amazingly awesome but still pretty good for the Ninja Turtles in 2003. Taking a look at the accessories for this Casey Jones figure, it's very, very easy to see that Playmates did not skip on the details. We got a lot of stuff with this Casey figure, and all of it has paintwork on it. With the exception of his hockey mask, all of it has paintwork on it. So really, really great work and attention to detail by Playmates, and really giving us a bang for our buck. The first one we're going to take a look at is the one that you can't ignore with Casey Jones. That is the hockey mask. As you take a look at this hockey mask here, you're going to notice that it does have some sculpt work on it that shows a little bit of battle damage. It's got holes for the eyes and holes for the mouth. On the inside, it just kind of has uh, really a spot to grab onto the nose for the Casey Jones figure. And it's easy to stick this on. We're going to take the Casey figure and just put the mask up to his face. And you do have to kind of wiggle it a little bit between the hair that's sculpted on its head to make sure it kind of stays in place. But once it's on, you can see that the eyes come through on the Casey Jones figure. And he is actually looking through the mask, so that's a nice touch there. So, very happy with how that turned out. The next accessory we want to go ahead and look at are these hockey pads. Now, hey, Casey comes with two sets of hockey pads. They are dark brown with some lighter brown padding on there. And this particular one actually attaches to this arm. We're going to go ahead and snap it on right here. And his other hockey pad actually attaches to his leg down here. So let's just go ahead and snap that on. And they go on really nice and easy. And as we can see here, there's also some battle damage on these hockey pads. So again, great attention to detail. Next, Casey has this golf club bag, and this bag is a black, black plastic that has some blue painted on it, and it's got a shoulder strap, and we can just go ahead and slide it on our Casey figure, and bear with him here while I wiggle this thing on. It's kind of snug on the figure, which is fine, honestly, just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And there we go, we have that on, and let me go ahead and retrieve the pad that just fell here, bear with me guys. Alright, let's go ahead and get that pad back on, just kind of snaps on in place right there. Alright, and Casey's almost armored up and ready to go. So let's go ahead and look at these accessories that he comes with. The first one I want to go ahead and take a look at is this golf club. Now this golf club is on a uh, black plastic that has been painted silver at the end. I believe that's how that looks there. And it's got some sculpt work at the end and even on the handle. Some nice touches there. And of course it will just slide right into his golf club bag. And as we take a look at this hockey stick, of course Casey being a huge hockey fan has to have a hockey stick got some tape work sculpted, it's got some tape on the end of the hockey stick and even a little bit of chip work as if this has actually been used in a real game, so that's nice. Two-tone accessories are always great, just go ahead and slide that in the bag. 
And finally, we do have this great baseball bat accessory. Now this baseball bat accessory has some wood grain sculpted in it, which is a nice touch. Also, it's got some sculpting on the tape on the handle, so that's great. And it fits in the hockey bag, or like I like to pose Casey, you can just go ahead and slide this side into the one hand here. Make sure this other hand is turned upward, and Casey's ready to intimidate guys in the middle of an alley. All right, toy fans, let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation of this Casey Jones figure. To start with, he does have a head that'll rotate left and right. Now this head won't spin a full 360 degrees because of the hair sculpt, but you will get that leftward and rightward looking motion there. His head does not look up or down. He does have shoulders that rotate a full 360 degrees, and they are in a hinge, so they can bend up about that far and back into the body. And there's no further articulation on the actual arm itself, but he does have a 360 degree rotation here at the wrist. And that articulation is copied on the other side. Now Casey does have a waist that'll allow him to move left and right. However, this figure does have a bit of a gimmick that allows him to uh, swipe with his weapon. So you can notice if you spin him here, he'll switch or flip back into position. Gungala! You're gonna pay, bub. And as we continue to come down the Casey Jones figure, what you can see is that he does have legs that move forward that far for this leg and back about that far. His other leg moves forward that far and back only about that far. So not a great range of motion, but they do move. Uh, there's no knee articulation, no foot articulation. And that is the articulation for Casey Jones. Taking a look at the height of this Casey Jones figure, we can see that he comes in at just about five and a half inches tall. For some height comparison, here we've got Casey Jones compared to his BFF 2003 Raphael. And here we have Casey compared to the 2013 Battleshell Raphael. And Casey compared to 2003 April O'Neil. And finally, Casey Jones compared to the 6 inch scale Marvel Legends Infinite Series Wolverine. Alright toy fans, well that's my review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Casey Jones figure released by Playmates in 2003. And overall, I'm very, very happy with this Casey Jones figure. I do feel like the paint applications may be a little bit weak on the face, and the sculpting isn't that great when compared to how he looked on the show, as far as the face is concerned, mind you. But overall, the figure looks really good. There's a lot of paint work, there's some great accessories, and this figure's a lot of fun, especially when I have him posed next to my Raphael. And of course, if you're a Raphael fan like I am, you have to get Casey Jones because these guys are brothers in arm that clean up town all by themselves. They don't need the other turtles. Okay, maybe they do, and there's no Y in team, but for the most part, these guys are awesome rocking the streets together. So definitely go out and pick up this figure if you can still find him. He is getting a little bit pricey on the secondary market just because this figure is so old, but he's really, really a fun one to have. And I'm definitely looking forward to getting to the modern version of Casey Jones next time I can spot him in the store. All right, guys, well, that's my review. Thanks so much for watching. Please feel free to rate, share, and subscribe. Also, be sure to hit me up on Twitter at D21Beast. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Goongala!